What record crowds expected to visit Israel over the summer tourist season? One region is working harder than ever to ensure visitors can enjoy its unparalleled natural wonders while staying safe. Located in the heart of Israel's Negev Desert, Ramat Negev covers approximately 22 percent of Israel's land mass, yet is home to just 8,000 residents. The remote region attracts reactionist and adventure seekers alike to its beautiful terrain. And now, thanks to Jewish National Fund USA Search and Rescue Center, help for stranded individuals has never been closer. Leading an average of 80 yearly rescues, including rope and water rescues, the new Hara Negev Search and Rescue Center is the hub for operations for these rescues, a space to train volunteers, a place for the community to gather, and a home command center for operations. And joining us now in studio is the mayor of Ramat Negev, Iran Doron. Not only a mayor, but also a volunteer in the rescue team for over 30 years. Iran, how are you doing? I'm okay, thank you. Good to be here. So actually, what initially motivated to become part of the search and rescue team, and how has that actually influenced your work um, as a mayor? I grew up in uh, Green Horizon, which is also a project that the uh, Jewish National Fund of uh, USA is uh, supporting, and is a... Uh, as someone that from a very young age I was traveling and I understood and I saw uh, so many rescues that people that weren't uh, uh, cautious enough and people that were uh, got injured, the need to rescue them, uh, this was the motivation when I came and I started to uh, volunteer as a member. I just came to the region and it was naturally the thing to do, to be a volunteer in the search and rescue team. And as a mayor, uh, it's of course influenced in the way that today we we made sure that the police, which we uh, operated by the police, they will handle only the things that they are special, but the things that has to do with the uh, outdoor in the the wilderness of the desert, we will take care of it, and it's very important because the efficiency of what we understand that what we call the golden hour that you will come to get the, the people as fast as you can, because sometimes it's a matter of whether they will live or not. If you're doing it and not the other forces, it can be much more efficient and then to save life. And Iran, how do actually people react seeing you being part of the, I mean, of the team as a mayor? Uh, I, the, the volunteer don't care whether I'm a, a mayor or I'm a lawyer, uh, God forbid, uh, or uh, whatever. You're part we of have, the team. We have 100 volunteers from a vast variety of professions. What is more important is that we don't care who are the travelers. We really don't care about anything but their way. And what are actually one of the, I mean, what are some of the significant challenges you've actually faced in your work? Have you overcome them, you or your team together? So the team is, uh, the majority of the rescues are people that fall and got, they cannot walk anymore, so you just need to, take them out, and again, the, the only question that we ask someone is how much he, what is his weight? Uh, but it can be floods, and then you need to use uh, boats, it can be using horses because people are uh, need to be carry uh, equipment, we, need, we use drones, we use uh, everything that can eventually uh, create a faster re response, and the challenges are from uh, extreme conditions of climate, to people that got lost and there is no recipients of uh, cellular uh, or uh, people that got dehydrated. So you have the range, a very big range of, of problems that can happen. And uh, that's why we have a pretty uh, wide range of ways to support and to help those people. Sounds incredibly hard and mainly important. Now, Iran, looking to the future, some aspirations for the region and why should actually people consider moving from cities like Tel Aviv or center of Israel, move to Ramat Negev actually? So first of all, we're talking about the, the, the search and rescue team provide a lot of uh, safety uh, and a peaceful thinking of an, 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 an atmosphere of coming to travel in the area. So uh, it's supporting the tourism economy uh, you know, you know, in the best way that, can, that we can think. About people moving to the region is very simple. Uh, the Negev today is the ultimate uh, answer to Israel challenges from housing, from uh, job opportunities, from uh, uh, even from uh, the food security. Uh, and of course, we have a great educational uh, system. We have uh, great opportunities for housing. We have good community. 
and great people and the best and the most beautiful Negev of, in the world. So that's, I think, good reason to come. A lot of good reasons. You're making Ben Gurion's dream come true, actually. Iran, exactly. thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. It was a pleasure.